Hey Pen and Pinchers, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Pen and Pincher Shalomi and today we are going to decorate our dining room. This is our Christmas dining room tablescape. If you're interested in seeing how I put everything together and where the items came from, just keep on watching. As you know, my theme for Christmas 2024 is all about the bows, nights of elegance, and so I have incorporated the same in my dining room on this tablescape with my colors of choice for this Christmas, which are white, gold, and black. I have used a combination of old and new items to style this dining table, things that I've had for a very, very long time, and some of the items I have recently purchased. Today we're gonna start by looking at the centerpiece. And what you're looking at here, guys, for the greenery on the very bottom, these are two teardrop wreaths that I have put together. I just kind of put them on either side and join them in the middle. Now these are very old, I've had them for uh, quite a number of years, but I decided to breed some new life into them by adding them to this tablescape and incorporating some picks. These ones I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And this is another garland itself that I have running all the way through that came from Hobby Lobby as well. I also incorporated some of these black picks. These are also from Hobby Lobby and I have a lot of them on my Christmas tree. I thought it was very befitting to tie the spaces in by using some of the items and the elements from the trees to bring to the dining room tablescape. As you can see guys, the centerpiece is sitting on a black and gold table runner. And this is really to protect my table from scratching because it's uh, mirror glass on top and it scratches real easily. So I always love to put something down before I put all of the other items, again, to prevent it from getting damaged. After adding the centerpiece, I went in and added these beautiful uh, Christmas trees. This is a set of three. I have one to the front here, one to the back of the table, and the other one on this side. And these I picked up last year from Home Goods. I think they ran between $5.99 and $7.99. And so I just went in and nestled them in between the branches of this centerpiece. And to my candle holders, I have these beautiful gold and white striped candles that I've chosen to put at the front of the table. And then for the very back candle holder, I used a plain candle. And I picked these up from Big Lots. I also added two of these black Christmas trees with these giant snowflakes on the front. And these were a DIY that I did maybe four years ago, and I've just kept them. This is very easy to do. I just used a Christmas tree form and wrapped it with Christmas ribbon that I already had. And from the Dollar Tree, I got this beautiful giant snowflake and I just hot glued it on to the front. And to complete my centerpiece, I went ahead and added this reindeer here, right in the very front. This reindeer I picked up last year from Ross. It was silver and I went ahead and spray painted it gold so it would fit easily with my decor. Now let's move on to the table setting. So here guys, you're looking at um, a table setting for six. And on this side, I have used these gold placemats. Now these placemats are super old, at least six years old. I picked them up at Walmart. I think it was a Black Friday sale in Buffalo. It's been that long. And on top of the placemat, I am using these beautiful ornate plate chargers that I thrifted in Canada. I believe it was from the Value Village. 
I also thrifted these uh, little salad plates that you're looking at right here. I'll just move this over so you can see. These beauties right here were also thrifted from Value Village while I was living in Canada. I got four of these salad plates and two of the dinner plates. And you will see the dinner plates on the very end of this table setting. Now these beautiful plates came from Home Goods. Last year after Christmas, I was lucky enough to get two of these mugs. I think it was a butter dish and a, a vase that perfectly matches these. So I was very excited when I went back and saw that they had the plates and knew that it would be perfect for my 2024 tablescape. So here you're looking at the placemat and the reason why I'm using this gold placemat is because my table is black mirror as well as the charger which is black. So I needed to be able to break the color up so that it does not get lost once I placed the charger on the table. This charger is absolutely beautiful. Like I said earlier, I thrifted those. And then after putting my charger down, I am going to layer it with this beautiful plate from Home Goods. And then I continue to layer by using this other thrifted salad plate here that I also thrifted from Value Village as I stated earlier. And the reason I'm using this one is so that the details of my dinner plate does not get lost. I'm still able to admire it, see the beauty in it, but it also gives me that extra depth of having this gold edge around the salad plate. The next thing I did, I added my napkin with my beautiful napkin ring. These napkin rings were purchased in Home Goods, I believe, two Christmases ago. And my napkins came from Ross. And guys, all I did was I used the napkin to make a bow and then added the napkin ring on top to complete my look and to tie my table in to the bows that I have on my Christmas trees. To complete my place setting, I'm using these absolutely beautiful wine glasses that I picked up from Marshalls. Again, in keeping with my bow theme, these are absolutely beautiful and I think it goes perfectly with my table setting. I did not use a coaster for these glasses simply because I like the way the base of it is round, it's wide, and I wanted it to stand out on the table without using a coaster. And for my flatware, I'm using these beautiful gold knife and fork set, these beautiful cutlery that I picked up from Timu last Christmas. Now moving to the ends of my table, my setting is very, very similar with the exception of the plates that I'm using here. I did not have any more salad plates of this kind. So what I did was I used the two dinner plates that I thrifted uh, from this set. And instead of putting it under the plate, I'm putting it over it again to capture the gold around the edge while still maintaining the beauty of my plate with the beautiful Christmas trees. Again, I went in using my bow napkins, but my napkin rings for the ends are also slightly different, guys. And these beauties came from Totally Dazzled, maybe six or so years ago, but I believe that they're very befitting for this tablescape with the diamonds going through it, and it just really makes the place setting pop. From this angle entering my dining room, 
I'm just gonna move the camera up and as a backdrop I have three miniature trees I'm gonna take you back there guys and show you what I've done to tie those trees into my beautiful tablescape and complete my dining room setting for Christmas 2024 so what I have here guys is I have placed my three miniature Christmas trees as a backdrop to my tablescape and I'll just pan down so you can see I have them elevated on a box and on top of that box I using black throws just as a covering and then I added a few gifts to the front of it as well as this beautiful reindeer here to the back to kind of create a look as if they were out in the woods. Super, super gorge. And these three miniature trees, I usually have them as you enter my front door, but for this year, I am using a pencil tree there that I've already created a video for so i am using these ones in my dining room and this set of three trees came from big lots two years ago to make sure that everything was cohesive and to stay in line with my theme i went ahead and created miniature bows and tied at the top of my tree using ribbon that was left over from years ago when I created the black Christmas trees that are on the dining table. I was intentional in not adding any ornaments or anything to these Christmas trees. I just wanted them plain with the bows at the top because I did not want them to compete with the tablescape. Okay, guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave me a comment below and let me know how much you like this tablescape as well as the trees as the backdrop in my dining room. Thank you so much for joining me. You know I appreciate when you hang out with me. And if this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. I really do appreciate you clicking on this video and would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family. It is real simple, guys. All you have to do is to hit that subscribe button below and make sure you hit that notification bell also. That way you are the first to know when I upload new videos. I do hope you have been enjoying my Christmas series for Christmas 2024. I will leave a link below to the other videos in my description box. That way you can go ahead and check those videos out. And to my lovely penny pinchers, you already know how I feel. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Until the next video, this is your glamorous penny pincher Shalom is saying bye-bye.